In this iMovie tutorial, let's cover music, sound effects and audio. How do you add audio and tweak your audio, add sound effects and add some background music. So I have my project here, a few clips in it already. And at the moment, I've got the audio turned off. And see at the, on the, the bottom of these clips, the blue section is the waveforms. And I've got it muted. And if I click on it, then I can raise the audio and keep going up to 400%. Raise the audio and play that. Which you can just hear. So let's turn that up. And you can skim over it and hear the audio. It's got audio skimming turned on. So on this one, if I turn on the audio, just got background music, this one. I can skim through it, as you just heard. To avoid audio skimming, you can either mute the clip, mute the clip, or the other way to do it is go up to the view menu and turn it off. So now when we scrub, we can't hear in the audio, but yet I can play the audio when I click the clip. Now, if you can't see your waveforms, if you look in the film strip, this is where you turn the waveforms on and off in the timeline. And if you're up in the events and the film strip, you can turn the waveforms on or off. I've got them turned off. Put them back on and you can see the waveform coming here on this one. Because I've turned scrubbing off, I'm not hearing anything unless I actually click it to play it. Now with the volume of your clip, you can either adjust the volume like I've been doing manually up and down here. So you can go to zero to mute it or you can take it different degrees here. So if it's too low, you can increase it. But as the higher you go, you'll see it turns to yellow peaks. And then if you keep going, it's going to go to red and that, that means that your audio is too loud. It's going to distort and it will have clipping. So you don't want to get it that high. Now, if you're finding it difficult to adjust the volume on the clip itself, then in the audio toolbar up here, you can actually do it from there in a little more precise way. So if I wanted that audio on this clip, so I select the clip and then it's at 100% at the moment, I can make it higher. You can see as I do it, it's, ray it's increasing on the actual clip or I can take it lower or I can mute it completely. But you've got a bit more precise control on the toolbar. You can also automatically improve your loudness doing it that way. This will mute the audio as well, so you can click that to mute it. And this one here, lower volume of other clips, is used when we do ducking, and I'll show you that shortly. Now, the other button on the audio toolbar is this one. We'll also look at that shortly, and that's looking at reducing background noise and using the equalizer. So I'm going to start with this first clip, and it's got some, it's just got sound effects of, of city traffic. So if I play you a little bit, it just has the background of the city, which isn't really loud enough or varied enough. I'd like to replace that audio on that clip with a sound effect of city traffic where it can be louder and I have more variety. So in iMovie, there are some sounds. There is some uh, music clips, some jingles, and a whole range, a whole library of sound effects. You can, get, you can grab music or sound effects from iTunes. So if I click iTunes, it's going to open up my iTunes library and look at what I've got in my library. So if I had any music there, or sound effects from there, I could bring that into my project. Uh, the only problem with that is that this music, these songs particularly, are not copyright free. They're not free to use in my projects. And while I can use them, uh, if I keep my movie private, as soon as I upload it to YouTube, for example, or somebody else gets a copy of it, I'm breaching copyright. So I'm not going to use anything from iTunes. GarageBand, if you have your own music loops or music that you've created yourself, you can bring that into your project from GarageBand. I don't have any. So I'm just going to use the sound effects and the music that comes with iMovie. And what I want is a city traffic sound. So if you go up to the top here, you've got a whole library of different sound effects. 
Uh, you can search one. If you know the name of one, you can search for it because the one I want is called City Traffic. So if I click in here and go City Traffic or City Night Crowd, actually, City Night Crowd, it will find it. If, it, if I couldn't remember but I wanted something on traffic and I typed traffic in, it's not going to bring up anything. I know it's in sound effects. So if I scroll through, you can sort of see them. I'm looking for City Night Crowd. And you can preview it up here. And you can see as you get to that yellow peak, it gets a bit louder. So I want some of that sound effect. It's a 30 second sound effect. I only want 4.9 seconds of it, enough for this clip. So I can just select the bit I want, about five seconds, and then drag it underneath that clip. So it's attached to that clip. You can see the little green line there to indicate that that's attached to that clip. Don't put it in this track down here because that's the background music. Now I can't use both of them. This one's still got its music, its audio. And this is the one I want to use, the City Night Crowd one. So I need to remove the audio from the clip that's already existing. Now I could just mute it and that would work. Or what I could do is right click and detach the audio. You can also do that from the modify menu, attach audio. And there's the keyboard commands for it also. So I'm going to detach it. And it puts it under there. This one here, Tourism Melbourne City. And I don't want that one. So I'm going to delete that. I could move that somewhere else. I could put that somewhere else and, and attach it to another clip. But I don't want to use it. So I'm going to de select it and delete it. So this, one's, this clip's got no audio on it. I'm going to be using this one here. It's a little bit longer. So I can just drag it in. And then when I Click on it, just go from here. It's a much louder and varied sound effect for the night, which is what I want to look at, just the night of the city. But it sort of starts very abruptly. So what you can do is fade in and out your audio. When you hover over the audio, so whether it's the sound effect that's been attached or it's one of these, uh, waveforms, you can see the little dots. There's a dot at the beginning and a dot at the end. And those dots fade in and out. Let's just turn this off. Fade in and out your audio. So if I drag that, I can fade it in by maybe one second and fade it out one second. Let's play it again. which has the exact, exact effect of a transition in audio. And if it's too loud, well, I can take it down a bit, 50%. So you've got fading in and out, and you've got detaching audio and replacing that audio with another sound effect from your sound effects library or audio from another clip. If I picked another clip up here, Now it's got different background noise. It just sounds like a helicopter as it flies over the city. If I wanted that one, i just take that bit of audio that I need and drag it onto the clip, replacing that one. Now in this clip, I've got background music as well as the noise of the hot air balloon, and I don't want the background music. The background music just over rules the, the noise of the hot air balloon. So I want to find a sound effect which just has the gas balloon. I then later on add some background music. So I'm going to detach the audio and then click it and delete it. Now up in my events, I have a video which has got some hot air balloon um, sound on it. Thank you. 
and I don't want the video, I just want the audio part of it, and I need about six and a half seconds. So I'm just going to select six and a half seconds. About there. And drag that underneath. Speed that up. Fade it in. Fade it out and play. Load the volume a little bit. And I want to add some background music to that. Now get in the sound effects. Theme music. There's a few. There's not many, but if you go searching through the internet, you will find some royalty-free music sites. I've selected a background track of modern. I'm going to drag it down into this channel, background music. And drag it right to the beginning of the clip. Now sometimes the background music is too loud for the actual clip. So if I play this clip, you can hear the sound effect of the hot air balloon, but the background music is too loud, and that really needs to be reduced in volume at that point once that clip starts, so you can hear the hot air balloon and then increase the background music. And that's called ducking. Now to do ducking in iMovie 10, you select the clip that is the primary clip, which in this case is this one. Then we go up to the music icon and select lower volume of other clips and turn that towards the right. And as we do that, you can see at the bottom how the volume decreased of that section of the clip. Now the it also gives you a fade in and fade out effect. So it starts to fade out just before that clip starts. And then it starts to fade back in where the next clip starts. And there's no way that I've found anyway that you can really change where that fade in and fade out point begins. But if we play it, What you can do is regulate the volume. So if that was a little bit too low, then we could bring it back this way. Selecting the clip first. And don't have it so low. Now it's sort of back where it was, so I need to adjust it a bit more. So you can have a little bit of a fiddle with it. And if you find you don't get enough control using this sort of ducking, then all you can do is split the clip. So let's select that and bring that back to its normal volume. Then about here, selecting this volume here, I'm going to split the clip. And at the end of the ballooning one, split the clip. Right click, split the clip, and then I'm going to move it up here. So at this one we're going to have fading out. Well, we get back to, to that point there. Just fade that out. Put that one back in. And in this case, now we can do the same thing here. We can fade that back in. We can reduce the volume. So instead of using the ducking, I'll go up to the volume and just reduce it. So maybe 50%. Fade it in and out. Now 
and probably the same length as the fade in and fade out of the clip above. So what's this one? So one point one second, one point one second. And let's play it now. You've got a bit more control over the ducking if you split the clip rather than do it using the toolbar. Now background noise. It has some background noise. It has a plane flying overhead. It has a few birds cheeping in the background. And I want to reduce the background noise. I click on that and into the equalizer and reduce the background noise. And you can reduce it from a you know, range or reduce it. And you've got to play around with it till you get something that isn't distorted. This is only an example clip, so if you had a clip that did have a lot of background noise, it does reduce it. So I'm going to delete that. Now the other thing that you've got up here is equalizer. So you can play around with uh, music enhance. You can see as I did that, it's increased the volume level. So there are a number of different things that you can play with on your audio to enhance it, to boost it, to reduce it, to reduce hum from electricity, for example, or um, speakers. You can, you've got something to work with there. So in this tutorial, we took a look at audio and audio effects and how you tweak your audio and add background music.